Today, we will attempt to predict sales, or demand, through linear and nonlinear prediction models, based on demand curve. Demand curve is a graphical representation of the relationship between the price of a good or service and the quantity of it that consumers are willing and able to purchase. Here we have the average prices of a volatile product or service for over a decade, along with total sales during the year. Using this data, we will create a linear and a nonlinear model to predict the demand of this product. We will also use demand curve to present our data and model in graphical form. Select the prices and sales column and insert a scatter chart. Change its title to linear curve. Right click on any dot on the scatter chart and add a trend line. In the format trend line options, select display equation on chart. Format the equation as numbers. Sometime numbers on the equation are displayed as exponential values. Converting them to numbers makes them readable. Create a copy of the scatter chart, and place it next to the existing chart. Change the title to nonlinear curve. Select the trend line and display its formatting options. In the trend line options, change the trend line from linear to power. This will change the linear trend line to nonlinear trend line and also update the equation. Create a new sheet named Demand Curve. Here we will enter the value of demand, when the price is zero, along with the value of slope of the demand curve, from the linear curve equation. We will use three scenarios in our model, and compare them on demand curve chart. Let's enter the first value from the equation. This value is also called intercept, and it can also be calculated using intercept function in MS Excel. The second value is called slope, which can be calculated using the slope function in MS Excel. Format the cells as numbers. Enter the headings price and demand. We will compute demand for each scenario. Enter the prices for which you want to estimate or predict the demands. The demand equals to the intercept, minus slope, multiplied by the price. Apply the same formula to all the prices and the scenarios. In the scenario 2, we will change the value of intercept. In the scenario 3, we will change the value of slope. To create a chart showing all the scenarios, and their demand curves, select all the columns, and from Insert menu, insert a scatter chart. The linear prediction model has been created.
Now let's create data for nonlinear prediction model. The slope in nonlinear prediction model represents the elasticity of demand. From nonlinear equation, enter the value of intercept. Format the values as numbers. Now, enter the value of slope. Enter the prices, against which you want to predict the value of demand. Demand in nonlinear model, equals the intercept, multiplied by the price, raised to the power of negative slope. Apply the same formula to all the prices, and the scenarios. Change the value of intercept for the scenario too. Change the value of slope for the scenario 3. To create a nonlinear demand curves chart from this data, select all the columns, and from the insert menu, insert a scatter chart. The nonlinear model has been completed. Change the titles of the charts to demand curve linear and nonlinear. Make some changes to make the headings more prominent. This is it. Thanks for watching our video, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials and updates.